Hello, it's Dr. Mike here and welcome to another medical 3D printing tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to quickly and easily create 3D printable uh, dental models from medical CT scans quickly and easily using the free online embodied uh, service. The embodied democratized service, as it's called, will allow us to create a, a 3D printable model just like this in uh, about 10 minutes or so. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, go ahead and open up your web browser and go to embodied.com. That's E-M-B-O-D-I 3D.com. And this is the embodied.com website. It's an online community of medical 3D uh, printing enthusiasts. Uh, and it has a variety of very interesting resources, most of which are for free. Now, if you click on the download navigation button, this will take you to uh, the area where you have free medical file downloads. There are a variety of files. Most of these files, you can see there are several hundred, are um, for 3D printable models. But what we're interested in is uh, medical scan. So we're actually going to download a dental CT scan. So make sure you go to under category to medical scan files and click on dental orthodontic and maxillofacial. And we'll use this first file called open bite updated which has been shared and uploaded by uh, our uh, member G cross. So let's go ahead and click on this and uh, click on download this file. Now you need to register and be a member uh, in order to download. Registration is free and takes only about a minute. So I'm going to agree and download. <clears throat> and you can see that uh, this is a dental CT scan that's been shared. This is a pretty pretty good scan. There's no fillings or uh, any metal in the mouth that can cause artifact. So this is a great scan for us to uh, base our 3D printed model um, on. And I'm going to include a link to this page in the description. So look below. All right. And so we've downloaded the file here. And uh, here it is right now. It's called both arches.nrrd. So um, now let's take let's go ahead and inspect this file. It's an NRD file, which is a kind of anonymized medical file uh, format. And I'm going to open this software program called Slicer. If you don't already have Slicer, you can get it from slicer.org and uh, just type in, uh, go to the download page, and you can download it for any operating system here, Windows, Macintosh, or Linux. It's a free and open source imaging uh, software program. So uh, I've opened up Slicer. I'm going to take this arches.nrd file and drag it onto the Slicer window. Click OK. <clears throat> and Slicer will open it up. And you can see that this is a, a really a good quality scan that's going to be uh, perfect for our purposes of creating a dental uh, 3D printable model. Okay, so that looks pretty good. All right, I'm happy with that. Now this is already in the NRD format, you can see. So uh, that's what uh, the embodied website takes. So I'm going to head, going to go ahead and close that out and go back to the embodied website and go to Democratize, which is the uh, Democratize is the free online file conversion service that will convert a, uh, a CT scan into a 3D printable model. So I'm going to go to Democratize and click Launch App and drag and drop my both arches.nrd file onto the application and it will begin to upload. <clears throat> now, while it's uploading, I'm going to enter in a little bit of information about the file and uh, both the file that I'm uploading and the file that I hope to generate uh, with this service. So the first thing, this section, section three, uh, is about um, uh, the file that's being uploaded, so the NRD file. So I'm going to type in a file name here. I'm going to call this a dental tutorial 3D printable model NRD file. Uh, I'm going to put a few tags in here. Orthodontic, uh, NRD, etc. You have to put a little something about the uh, um, uh, in the in the description. It doesn't really have to be too much. Dental tutorial source file. 
and uh, there's some things here that allow you to share or uh, specify uh, uh, how you'd like to use this file. Now this is again the source file. I'm going to keep it private. Uh, I don't need to share it because our user um, uh, gcross has already shared it. Uh, and um, so it'll just be a private file for me. Now I'm going to scroll down to the next section. This is the democratized processing section and this section tells uh, yeah, tells uh, the a website about the file we wish to create. So the 3D printable STL file that we hope to create from this scan. Um, so first of all you have to turn democratized processing on. It can be on or off. So we want to turn it on and we're, we're going to tell the website to go ahead and process the file we're uploading. We get to choose from a variety of different operations. We can take a CT scan in NRD format and we can make a, a regular bone model, a detailed bone model, a muscle model or a skin model. And the one we're going to choose is detailed bone. Uh, because this is a, uh, a dental uh, model, we want uh, to get all that detail, uh, the ridges and the cracks between the teeth and that type of thing. Leave the threshold at the default value, set the quality to high, and I'm going to uh, make this file public so that you can, uh, you can all download it if you want afterwards. Um, I'm going to set a a kind of a, a Creative Commons license uh, so that uh, people can download it and then at the end uh, I'm going to check this box to say that I agree to the terms of use which basically says I'm not going to do anything bad uh, or um, uh, you know um, do something I shouldn't do with regard to the file. Okay the file is now 100% uploaded and I'm going to click Save and Submit. Okay, and it says I have a notification that uh, the processing can take up to 20 minutes and I'll receive an email when it's done. Okay, so that's great. Uh, now let's go ahead and um, see what this file is going to look like. Now I took the liberty of sending the same file for processing earlier. So, uh, you know, in normally in about 10 minutes I would receive um, uh, an email saying that the processing is done but in this case I did it ahead of time just so that you wouldn't have to wait the 10 minutes and this is what uh, the file will look like after it's been processed. You can see that it's it's pretty good. Uh, it has a lot of detail. We can see the foramina where the nerves come out and some arteries. Uh, we can even see the uh, you know part of the cervical spine so this is the the dens and the C2 the second cervical vertebrae this is C1 uh, and this is the uh, the base of the skull that was captured in the scan and, it, and it's uh, shown in this model so that's pretty cool and when we're ready we can go ahead and download the file and uh, our uh, file will be downloaded <clears throat> And here it is, right, right here. I'm going to change this to tutorial dental model. And let's go ahead and open this in Mesh Mixer, which is another free software program, just to allow us to uh, inspect it briefly before we send it off to the 3D printer. Okay. So here it is. Looks pretty good. Um, Mesh Mixer allows us to do some. Uh, quick analysis. I'm going to click on this analysis button and click inspector. There's a couple free floating parts and you know there's at least one spot that needs to be fixed. That's pretty good. There's only three areas where there's a, a problem um, uh, in this model. Easily fixed with auto repair. Boom. Now this model is now uh, ready for 3D printing. We can go ahead and export it in STL format and call it final tutorial dental model and save it. Okay, so now our uh, tutorial, here it is right here, the final, is uh, now ready to go. We can send this to any 3D printer and go ahead and print it. Now you may be wondering, what do I do if I have my own um, uh, my own dental scan, either a CT or a cone beam CT, and I, I don't have this NRRD format. I have a DICOM format, which is the standard format for medical scans. Now, if you're unfamiliar with DICOM, uh, as I was saying, if you're um, not familiar with the DICOM format, it's the format that most medical files, uh, medical scans, CT, MRI, ultrasound are stored in, and 
Um, unlike uh, an NRD file, which is comprised of a single file, a DICOM data set is actually a, a collection of files. Usually it's a folder or even multiple folders of files, and there may be hundreds or even thousands of individual files in a very complex folder uh, structure and all of those together will compromise a single uh, medical scan. So if you have uh, uh, files in a DICOM format, say from a CT uh, or an MRI that you received from uh, your hospital or clinic or um, uh, some other uh, scanner um, or resource, you may be interested in, in, and you may be wondering, how do I convert uh, these uh, DICOM files into 3D printable models? And I'll show you that uh, briefly. Uh, you can do that through Slicer. So go ahead and open Slicer and uh, take the, the DICOM folder. So in this case, here's a, a dental CT scan, and it's comprised, it's made up of all these different uh, uh, DICOM files. So I'm going to take the whole folder and drag and drop it onto Slicer. Slicer is going to ask me if I want to uh, load it into the DICOM database and I'll just say OK and copy and what will happen is uh, Slicer will begin to uh, work and copy over the individual DICOM files into the database and then organize everything in a way that I can browse it and um, uh, export it and what I'm going to do is after it's loaded into Slicer I'm simply going to save it as an NRRD file. This process takes only about a minute or so. Uh, so it's a very it's a very easy way to convert DICOM to NRRD. Uh, DICOM is full of identifiable patient information, birth dates and medical record numbers and names and all that kind of stuff. So it's not really the best uh, um, file format for uh, transmitting things over the internet and uh, the embodied website only accepts NRD files which are anonymized and, and therefore don't have any patient information. So here's that scan uh, that we just located, or sorry, just loaded and this is in the DICOM format. You see it's a pretty decent uh, looking dental scan. Now we're going to go ahead and save this. Each one of these rows is a different file so I don't really want to save the scene file. And, but I do want to save the, the dental scan file, so I'm going to leave this checked. You can select the file format that you want to save it in, and in this case I'm going to leave it at the default, which is NRRD. And you can also specify the directory that you want it to be saved in. So in this case, uh, I'll, want to, uh, I'll just load it into the uh, Documents folder. Uh, actually, I'll save it on the desktop. So here we go. So I'm going to save this dental scan NRD in the NRD format uh, to my desktop. And click Save. You can see it's popping up here in the upper left hand corner. And then it's done. So now um, I've used Slicer to convert the DICOM format with all these different files into a single uh, scan file called dental, dentalscan.nrd. And I can go to the embodied website and uh, go to democratize, launch app, and go ahead and drag and drop this onto the democratized um, uh, processing page. Okay, and so that's it. Uh, that's how you create a 3D printable uh, dental model from either uh, an NRD file or a DICOM file that you convert into an NRD. If you haven't already, go ahead and explore the embody.com website. There's a lot of resources here for medical 3D printing. Um, there, of course, there's a large library of files uh, with files of all types that you can you can um, use. They have a lot of medical scan files. These are source, source files uh, that um, uh, can be very helpful to help you uh, uh, get started off on medical 3D printing if you'd like to download some uh, uh, you know some files to start with you can see all of you look here's a here's a heart CT amazing uh, uh, collection of files that people have shared there's a very extensive series of tutorials uh, here are a variety of tutorials most of these focus on um, how to do 3D printing using free and open source software packages and low cost printers. Uh, there's a pretty robust community so if you want you can go to the community, you can read the forums, ask a question. If you have uh, questions about um, uh, any particular topic there's a large number of people who are very experienced who can help you to uh, find your way. 
Okay, so uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Um, if you did, uh, please hit the like button. That's greatly appreciated. Uh, subscribe. Uh, I'll be coming out with a variety of tutorials uh, around medical 3D printing, which will be quite helpful. Uh, please register as an Embodied.com uh, member. Registration is free and very helpful. Join the community, and um, happy, happy 3D printing.